Time now for final exam. It's our weekly news quiz. Actually, tonight's the first time we're doing it. We're going to ask our contestants questions about this week's current events, torn from the headlines, and find out how much they really know. Joining us, our very first contestants. Save the tape from tonight. Fox News' is Elizabeth Pran and Peter Ducey. Bring it on. I'm not taking my Welcome finger off. Welcome to you both. This, this is, is something my... we thought of in the shower one morning, but we think it's going to work. This is my nightmare. <laughs> if I get one, if I get one. You're going to, I think you're going to do great. Here, here are the rules. Okay. I'm going to ask the questions. Okay. The first one of you to buzz in on our specially made police vehicle buzzers gets to answer that question. If you get it right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, you lose a point. Okay. Best of five wins. Are you ready? Five? Best of five. Oh, okay. Here's the first question. State officials in Nevada, sometimes called Nevada, this week announced a state of emergency when stores there sold out of what? Elizabeth? Pot. Marijuana. Weed. Okay. We're going to go to the tape and see if you're right. <laughs> Marijuana dispensaries are running out of pot. The governor has declared a state of emergency. A surge in sales there has left a lot of shelves empty. Somebody watch the special report. I'm telling Brett Bear he's going to be flattered. I do. I go fast report. with that question. Uh, it was it good. Was interesting. I'm not going to tell you what. You think there may have been some chicanery behind the scenes? I don't know. She said That's right illegal, so we're not going to talk to that. Question two. Right. This one is a multiple choice question, so wait for the choices before answering. The Olympic Committee this week announced that the city of Los Angeles would soon host the Summer Games. When was the last time L.A. hosted the Olympics? Was it 1980? Was it 1984? Was it 1988? 1984. What? 1984. How do you know that? It was before I was born, but I feel like I've seen a sweatshirt. <laughs> We're going to see if you're right. Let's go to the table. You're definitely right. It was the L.A. Summer Games of 84 that electrified the country. The torch was lit at the L.A. Coliseum, but it was Carl Lewis who set the crowd on fire. I'm impressed because 1984 to you was like the first world war to me. It was just like <laughs> prehistory, but you knew it. Anyway. I feel like I hear a lot about, was that the one that Bruce Jenner was in? I'm not going there. He was Question there. three. Did Last month, North? President Trump invited a recently retired quarterback to play golf with him. This week, that quarterback said that people pressured him not to accept the offer, but he felt like taking a pass on it would be, quote, un-American. Who is that? Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, says Elizabeth Pran. You know, I've had a chance to play with President Bush before. If President Obama or President Clinton asked me, I'd be there in a heartbeat. I mean, it was just the experience of playing with the office that was pretty cool to me. And I think it would have been almost un-American to have said no. Only because of the SBs, that's why I knew. I'm impressed, Elizabeth well, Pran. But that, I mean, I lowered the bar, but I'm good. I'm done. I'm tapping out. I'm going to go. Peter, wake up, son. <laughs> question four, another multiple choice question. This week, one of the largest icebergs ever recorded broke off from the Antarctic Peninsula. It was enormous. Scientists say it weighs a trillion tons and is the size of what state? Rhode Island, Maine, Delaware. 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 I think it's like one of my old Joe Biden Google alerts that I just get anything Delaware. AKA the first state. Let's see on the tape. A massive chunk of ice separating into the ocean, said to be the size of Delaware. <laughs> Peter Doozy, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, I don't. Wins the geography quiz. Okay, we're down to the final question. Okay. It's two to two. Okay. A technician working at a Corpus Christi bank, that's in Texas, yesterday, had to be rescued by police after he accidentally locked himself inside what for two hours? The ATM machine. <laughs> How did you know that? I think it would be the vault, but we've got a tape. We can hear a little voice coming from the machine. You'll never see this again in your life that somebody's stuck in the ATM machine. Oh. How did, Unbelievable. How did you know because that? Because that is the craziest story. People were going to the ATM and this man was inside sending them notes that just said, help, I'm stuck in the ATM. The world's Let me smallest out. repairman. He's How only like eight inches small. What would you think if you got there. that note? I would think that the thing was going to take my credit card and I would probably, you know, skim it and I would just leave. I would think it was an inside job. I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> Final exam, the first test. Three to two. Oh. And you know that breaks Three. Peter, my congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for having me.